Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of electrical B7 power system engineering BO exam. Uh, this is an exam of May 2022, okay? And I noticed uh, that this exam is again following a similar pattern than uh, of uh, the sim similar pattern for uh, 2021 and 2020. Uh, zero. So basically, it's exactly the same pattern where the first question is a general three-phase question and it is a mandatory question that you have to answer and then there are six questions you choose four out of them. So it's, it's following the same the same pattern. Okay, so let's see this question that is looks lengthy but it's very straightforward question about three-phase. Okay, so all of it is just one question. It has four parts all related to the same problem. So let's, let's move on. So this is the first part. It says here a three-phase distribution system operates at 4.16 uh, kilo uh, uh, volt. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, and the load, uh, load one, so this is the first load. This first load is basically is a Y connected. This load draws 50 kVA 0.8 power factor lagging. We want to find first what is the real and the reactive power drawn by load one alone. Okay, so this is we'll use the power triangle. Okay, so in the power triangle here, you have S, you have P, you have Q, and you have theta, which is the power factor angle. Okay, so easily you can see that that your P is equal to S times cosine theta, which is the power factor. So it is 50 times 10 to power 3 times the 0.8, and this will give you 40 kilowatt. Then Q is equal to S sine theta, okay, which is 50 times 10 to power 3 times sine. Now theta is cosine inverse of the 0.8. Okay, and this angle is basically the 36.9. So your Q will be equal uh, to 30 kVAR. So this is the first part. Part B, find the line current magnitude of load 1. So the current magnitude I is basically equal to S as a magnitude divided by this is a three phase system so it's root 3 the voltage the line to line voltage okay so your s is 50 times 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3 times 4.16 times 10 to the power 3 and this will give me a current equal to 6.94 amps in part c It says, what is the angle of the C phase line uh, current? Assume ABC sequence. Now, this is a Y connected. Uh, it means if it's, this is a Y connected load, it is basically the line current and the phase current are exactly the same. Okay. Now, the angle of phase A, so the phase A angle, the theta of phase A, is basically is the power factor minus that so this is the minus 36 point so this is the current i phase a is uh, minus 36.9 so basically i of phase a is equal to the magnitude 6.94 angle of minus 36.9 because we assume that the phase voltage has an angle of zero it's a power factor lagging so the current lags the voltage 36, so it's minus 36.9 because it's a lag in power factor. Okay, now it says here what is the angle of phase A, phase C line current? Phase C line current and phase current are line and phase are the same because it's a Y connected. So the angle theta of phase C is equal to the minus 36.9 plus 120. This is an ABC sequence, so we have the phase A minus 120 plus 120 and the angle here is basically equal to 83.1 amps. So they're asking here what is the angle? 
okay so this is the this is the angle so this is the first part of this question let's move to the second part in the second part now a second load which is called load 2 is delta connected synchronous motor that draws 10 kilowatt and an adjustable reactive power output so the, as you know the synchronous motor can be used to basically control the power factor Okay, so it says, what is the power factor of load two in order to have an over unity power factor of the two loads combined? Now, what does it mean to have a unity power factor? Unity power factor, it means that Q total equal to zero. This is what does it mean, okay? So load one, Q one is equal to 30 kVAR or plus j so it means that or it implies that the q2 has to be minus j 30 kvar so your s will be equal to basically your p the power which is 10 minus j 30 kva so that is your s if you put it in a power triangle it will be something like this so the angle would be negative negative theta of s so this is your s this is your p and this is your q which is a negative value now we want to find this theta okay so theta will equal to tan inverse of q over p which is tan inverse of minus 30 divided by 10 and this will give me minus 71.6 so the power factor is cosine of minus 71.6 which is 0 0.32 leading power factor this is a leading power factor not a lagging power factor because the angle here is negative and remember the angle theta here is the angle of s which is the angle of z it's not the angle of the current the angle of current is the opposite okay is the uh, is the inverse so if this is negative the angle of the current would be positive so it would be a leading power factor because the current leads the the voltage then it says here in the second part part b so this is part a part b what is the magnitude of the phase current in the generator winding so these two loads basically are supplying a by a generator okay now let's find s total which is equal to s1 plus s2 now when you add the two loads together you get 50 kilowatt because this is 10 the other one is 40 and there is no kvr there is no basically any q so this is the total the total s so the magnitude of the current that is supplied by the generator the total i is equal as a magnitude is equal to uh, uh, basically 50 times 10 to the power 3 which is in kilowatt divided by root 3 4.16 times 10 to the power 3 and this will give me also the same current which is basically 6.94 amps now the generator here it's not given to us if it's a y or a delta so because here it asks for the phase current in the generator so if the generator is y connected then i phase equal to i line which is equal to 6.94 if the generator is delta then i phase equal to i line divided by root 3 which is equal to around 4 4 amps okay now what is the angle a of the phase current i a b of the load 2 asking for what is the current now this is basically it says here is delta connected so here it is the delta connection so this is a b and c and here what is the angle of a the phase current i here Okay, so this is I, A, B. So this phase current, what it, what is basically its angle, okay? Now, we already calculated that, that we found the angle of the impedance, which is minus 71.6, because the angle, basically, of the power factor is the angle of the impedance. And since 
Now here this is I A B. Now let's find the current I A B. I A B would equal to V A B divided by Z A B. Now I'm not interested to find basically the uh, the actual in, uh, current. I want to find only the angle. So the angle of I A B equal to the angle of VAB over the angle of ZAB. Now the AB is the line to line voltage, so it says the angle of 30 with respect to the, the phase angle. We assume that the phase uh, voltage has a zero angle, so this will have an angle of plus 30, okay? And this will have an angle of, which is this one, minus 71.6 so the angle will be 101.6 so this is the angle of the phase current IAB finally this this is three and four still we have two parts so in part uh, in this part what is the phase impedance of load one is it inductive or capacitive so this is part three very straightforward your Z the phase is equal to V phase divided by I phase. Now, this is a Y connected. So the line current and the phase current are exactly the same. We already calculated that. So the phase voltage is 4.16 divided by root 3 times 10 to the power 3 angle of 0. This is our reference. Divided by the current, which is 6.94 angle of minus 36.9. And this gives me a total impedance equal to 346 angle of 36.9. I can have it in the polar format or a rectangular format. So in rectangular format, it is 276.7 plus J to 07.8. Okay. Now, this is the reactive power. This is, sorry, this is the reactive uh, impedance and this is the real impedance so this is your r and this is your jx now because this is a plus so it is inductive load it's not capacitive because the angle here of z is plus so it is also inductive inductive load finally we need to connect now a third load it requires a fixed amount of reactive power 20 kvr inductive plus an adjustable real power S is equal to this. If the load is connected to the feeder, what is the maximum real power P3 that can be drawn before the source it reaches this 10 amps? Okay, so now your S total is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. So this is the, uh, the three, uh, so your S total equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. Now, these two, we already calculated them as 50 kilowatt. We add it to S3, so you get 50 plus P3. So this is the real power plus J20, KVA. So this is the total S total, okay? Now, basically here, your current I, maximum current, which is equal to 10, Amp equal to S total as a magnitude divided by root 3 times V line to line. So from this, I can find ST, which is equal to root 3 times 4.16 times 10 to power 3 times 10. And this will give me total S equal to 72.1 kVA. Now, again, using the uh, right triangle, so this total S would equal to P squared plus Q squared. Now, it becomes a math problem. So, the 7.72.1, 10 to power 3 is equal to P squared, which is 50 plus P3, all 10 to power 3 square plus 20 times 10 to power 3 square. I can get rid of all the 3, okay? And I can square everything. So this becomes 5,191.7 is equal to 50 plus P3 
square plus 400 then take this to the other side so you will have 4791.7 is equal to 50 plus b3 square take the square root of this you will have p3 plus 50 equal to uh, 69.2 then your p3 and this is the maximum power that you can have is equal to 19.2 kilowatt so as you can see here overall this question is basically very very straightforward very fundamental and i think that is the whole point is to ask you some question like that that encompasses all the basic fundamental uh, things about uh, three phase okay and then they ask you more specific uh, uh, questions about different parts of the b7 i just want to make sure that uh, i mentioned that before a couple of times please uh, these questions i just try to answer them in a rush okay so th there might be some calculations error the approach is correct uh, and I really appreciate it if someone discovered there is any error, you can email me, then I can describe that in the uh, video description that at this time there is this calculation error. I wish you all the best to pass uh, these uh, exams.